Hey everybody. So I have a client story for you today of an NPE, unknown parentage, didn't know who his biological father was, but mom did give him a name. So was that worth anything? Welcome back to Client Stories with Amy. So our clients came to us not knowing exactly who his biological father was. He was given a name, but he did not believe that name was correct. He thinks that there was somebody else because he searched high and low for this man and could not find him nowhere. He says, this man does not exist. I don't think it's the right name. And plus my mom can't give me a grandmother or grandfather's name or if there's an aunt or an uncle, she couldn't give me anything else, just his name with no other details. So we got a DNA, we sorted it following the Dana Leeds method and we were able to find the most recent common ancestor pretty quickly on both sides of the family tree, worked the tree down to the grandparent line and we were able to land on the family. The name matched. They had a son by that name that mom gave. So mom was right. So were we able to find him? Yes, we were able to find him. He did exist. So the reason why he was unable to find him is because he was looking in like phone book type things and uh, public records and he was looking on social media. And of course this person doesn't exist because he's been incarcerated for the past 15 plus years. That's why he couldn't find this gentleman. Didn't exist in public records because he had no public record. He's been behind bars this whole time. So we were able to give him that information and because he can't really do much in the way of contacting this man unless he goes and actually visits him or writes him a letter, we were able to identify um, and find contact information for his siblings so we could get that information and if there's any siblings for our client, any children for the biological father, they could hopefully provide that information for him because we couldn't find any of that. We were able to find grandma was still living. Grandpa had passed away probably about eight years ago, but we gave him contact information for his grandma too. And so he actually had all of the names of his biological family and he was relieved that his mom didn't lie to him. He was afraid that his mom had lied to him all of this time by giving him a fake name, but he was super, super relieved that it was the true name. And now he feels a little, some type of way about the reason why he couldn't find his biological father's name anywhere or find that he was living outside of behind bars. He just kind of feels some type of way about that. But I told him you are not at fault for anything he's done. His decisions are his decisions alone. And that doesn't make him a good person or a bad person. It just makes him a person that is sitting behind bars for X, Y, and Z. I will say that the charge that he did receive it's minimal and he shouldn't be spending as much time behind bars as he is, but it is what it is. I'm not a judge and that it's not my case, whatever. I'm here to find mommies and daddies. That's all I'm going to say, <laughs> but that's it for today. Don't forget to hit like, follow and share, and I will see you guys later. Bye.